Today's a fun video, but at the same time, a very important topic is being covered, and that topic is split testing. How to actually do split testing the correct way. Because if done correctly, split testing is gonna save you a lot of money. You're gonna be able to reduce your lead cost while increasing your conversion. So you absolutely need to get this right. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so let's dig right in. We're here in the ads manager where all of your advertising should be going down. And in order to get here, all you have to do is log into Facebook, go to the very top right where it has a drop down black arrow, click on that and go to manage ads and you're gonna end up right here. So all you have to do is go right here to the ads manager and you are here. Now let's talk about split testing. Split testing is so important for your business because it will help you scale, it will help you grow and reduce your lead cost altogether. So that is super important. And we're gonna dive right into it. The one element that you absolutely need to get right is split testing one variable at a time. Not two, not three, not four, split testing one variable. Because if you change more than one variable at one time, you're not gonna know what worked or what didn't work. So let's just say you split tested the image, the placements, the ad copy and everything and then it suddenly works fantastic but you're not going to be able to replicate it you're not going to know if it was the placement you don't know if it was the ad copy you don't know if it was the image so split test one variable at a time you're going to see some great results so with that being said the question becomes how do i actually split test one of the common things that i always hear is what about a b split testing you can certainly do a b split testing that is something that is totally within your um, bounds of doing. However, I actually don't do it that way. Whenever I go through and I create a campaign and gives me the option to do A, B split testing, I don't go through it through with it because I actually find it a little bit more confusing. That's a personal preference. You can certainly go through A, B split testing. However, I don't do it that way. So the way that I'm gonna show you to do that at the moment is very manual or more of a manual way. It's easy to understand. So. Let's just say this campaign was doing phenomenal. It was a fantastic campaign. The ad sets, which are right here, the ads, everything worked within them. Let's just say that campaign was absolutely bombastic and we want to replicate it. And the only thing that we want to change is to identify another property. So market another property is basically what's happening or market another community. This is a new build community that got us 30 leads for $3.16. Let's just say I wanted to highlight another new build community, and um, but keep everything else the same. All I would have to do would be at the campaign level, right here, duplicate this, number of copies, do one, and then I would hit duplicate. And what this is gonna do is gonna create all of those different campaigns. So you see right here, and I'm just gonna hit publish. I'm gonna hit publish move myself kind of back hey one quick second i'll let you get right back to the video but i myself want to do a brief split test if this is making sense let me know in the comment section down below making sense if this is not making sense then just smash like anyway and we're gonna give it a couple more seconds there's a few there's nine nine total campaigns or nine total ad sets that uh that are being published i'm gonna x out of here all right, so what did we just do? We just duplicated this entire campaign. So when we click through here, we're gonna see four different ad sets. And when we go even further, it's taking a little while to get the, the ad copies to duplicate, but here in a little bit, this will populate. So you just copied everything here. You just copied your entire campaign. And assuming you just wanted to highlight another new build community, all you would have to do is go in here and edit them, edit every single image, every, edit the ad copy and you're off and running. So again, this is completely overhauling your entire campaign. That is how you split, well, that is how you do another, that's how you do another ad copy, if you will, or ad campaign. But let's just go into the split testing. Let's just say you wanted to split test interest. All you have to do is here at the ad set level, which we're in the copy version that we just created, Let's just say we wanted to split test Z Zillow. Well, we already have that. Let's just duplicate this right here. This ad campaign has been working well for us. So I'm going to copy this at the ad set level and say, well, since Zillow's performing so well, 
What if we go on to split test something close to Zillow, which you're going to see right in through here. So the interest, if you go edit, I'll move myself one more time. Let's just say, what, what are some suggestions? Zillow's performing well. What if I wanted to do homes.com? What's it going to look like then? So if I X out of this, this actually is a bad example because there's only 3,600 people. But for the illustration, I'm going to keep the same. I'm, I'm going to keep this here. I would swap out Zillow and I would only leave homes.com and I would let this ad campaign run. That would be my split testing. That's what I would do. Notice that I copied it from the ad set level. So right here, who I'm targeting and the ad is staying the absolute the same. So this ad is going to stay the same. Everything else is perfect how I actually want it. But this is the only variable going back to the principle of split testing. This is the only variable that I am split testing. Now, let's just say I wanted to find what I just did right here. Let's just say, all right, that was a perfect experiment. Now, I want to test, let's just say homes.com ended up being a success, which based off of the potential reach, I find it hard to believe. Let's just say homes.com is going to be a phenomenal success, but I want to split test something else. Well, um, let's just start messing around with placements. This is where this is where placements comes into place. Where are your ads going to show? If you want to introduce the Instagram feed and then swap out the news feed so you're only doing Instagram, then at that point you would need to edit the ad, but that's another that's another question for another day or another video for another day. But then you're going to go into layers. You're going to go into testing out via placements. And again, once I make the placements, uh, the split testing there, I'm only going to change one thing at a time. So I if I had a hunch that the ad copy was off, I'm not going to go through and edit this and edit the placements and then go and change the ad copy. I would attack the ad copy first and then work my way backwards. So this is the appropriate way of split testing. This is what um, happens all of the time. At this point with the ad copies that I have, if you're interested in the ad copies that I have, they are linked down below. So I invite you to check them out. At this point, all the ad copies that I have are battle tested. So I know which ad copies should be performing well and which ones don't perform as well as the others. So I know that the new build leads, I should be getting leads from one to five dollars depending on the market, relatively consistent. So if that's not happening, if I'm getting leads for ten dollars, fifteen, twenty dollars, I know that something is wrong. And more often than not, I'll go to the image and swap it out for a video. Or I'll go to the video and swap it out for another video. Or I'll go into the image and I'll swap it out for another image. And start from the visual ad, uh, aspect because from the ad copy standpoint, I know that that's working because it's working in all the states that we've run them in. At this point, it's been all 50 states plus several other countries. So I know that the ad copy is, is fantastic. The image is typically what's, what's going to drag us down. So I take out that image and I leave everything else the same. So this is the stair step approach you need to take to split testing. It's not glamorous, it's not sexy, but it needs to be done. Well, now that you know more about split testing, it's time to get the perfect ad copy that's gonna get you a lot of leads. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.